All right, everybody, it is day eight, the last day of our Eagle Lake musky hunt, and I have to make sure we don't hit some rocks there. There we go. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna hit some rocks, we're gonna hit some weeds, because we haven't really established any discernible pattern. Uh, we've been getting a fish or two a day, kind of on average. Uh, it's just not been the best, but we're getting some fish. We're having fun, despite how sleep deprived and tired and sore we are. So, with all that, we're just going to start fishing, man. Hopefully we can get something on the last day here. Oh. That was a nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, why didn't it just eat it? I didn't even move. I know, yeah, that was, the. I think the fish just saw the boat and, huh. Well, dang it. <laughs> I'd use that one. Well, this is what happens at the end of eight days, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Omri bait snake can jam into his hand. Well, good luck with that. All right, well, in the meantime, well, idiots messing with baits up there, I am going to switch from a Lee Lures Flap 9, which got a little love, saw a nice fish. We're going to switch over to a Shadillac with no lip. And it runs kind of cool. It runs right up on the surface. And we're going to give that a whirl, see what happens. I think if we hit this again, you should start with that bait. Yeah. That does look pretty good. Oh, I got her coming. I got her coming. Yep. Oh, she peeled off, man. Oh, <laughs> she's waking on it. She was right there, man. She's always just down from that dead pine tree right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Damn idiot. Top water. All right, we are out for the afternoon. We've been well fed, had another little fish fry. Got some rest in, so we're back out here and there's still not much going on. Uh, two fish this morning. We've talked to some other guys. 
they're seeing a few fish here and there but it's not what you'd think of when you think of the day after the full moon as far as musky activity it is pretty darn slow which quite honestly for this lake we've seen more often than not unfortunately the days leading up to the full moon are really good and then the day or two after not so much but we've got a couple hours left we're gonna fish a big expanse of weeds we're just gonna keep bouncing between rocks and weeds see if we can find something and hopefully before we leave tomorrow morning we can put another fish in the boat here so this video isn't entirely boring which I'm sure it probably is up to this point that's what we're gonna do there's a fish well that was dumb yeah this is a nice one but it just went <laughs> I, I don't know if it was following my bait or just under the boat quite honestly because it wasn't super active or anything <laughs> that's for sure uh, I know some guys don't like to call a lot of musky fishing without seeing anything a grind but they can go piss up a rope right now because this is a grind <laughs> We got fish. Feels not northerny, but I can't tell right now. Nope. <laughs> Just big enough to fool us. Man. <sighs> Casting for hours and hours, and that's what we got. Oh, come here. Just behave. We'll get you off here real quick. Oh, sure. Thank you. Oh, man. I guess it was nice to catch something, but that's not exactly what we wanted. Is fishing that little stretch that we were fishing. Fish, fish. Wow, that's a big fish. Yeah, it's oh. She come in hot. How big a fish do you think? Mid-40s. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Where'd you pull her from? Back over here? Yeah. Alright, well, that's weeds, but small, small weeds. Not a big expanse. Damn it. How close do you think she was to eating? All right, buddy. You did me good before. <laughs> Stick one here. Fish, 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 fish. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Yeah. She turned. She turned? Oh, my goodness, there is like close to 50. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, she turned and she went down back home. Big one, though? Yeah, upper 40s at least. Yeah. She I just, hard, I saw her. She had a hard time turning. She just can't let she she got interested at the first corner again, but never just kind of 
kind of man and then dropped right back down. Well, I mean, at least I feel like we got a shot of something biting tonight. I mean, we're, it's not going to be a banger evening, but we're just basically fishing for one one hit this evening, I think. That one would have been worth it. Super sweet. God, that does have a good pop to it, doesn't it? Like I said, though, I guarantee if you put your new one on, it'll sound just the same. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, got off! You kibosh me in the outside corner. Yeah. Got a weak ass pathetic hook set into him. Uh -huh. Shoot. At least it's just a little one, but. Yeah, I was gonna say it looked like a, what, upper 30s maybe? Yeah. Well, at least it's an active fish, man. That means as soon as we've get done with this we need to get to our other spot i suppose yeah. and i'm gonna fall over that's a fish we haven't seen before in here Last cast for me, I guess. Right over there. Man. That's it. That's a wrap. All right, well that wraps it up. We're going in a little bit early. Uh, we've got a little bit more to fish, but it just doesn't seem to be worth it. The fish aren't moving terribly well. We tried going back on a fish we saw <coughs> earlier. Just couldn't couldn't get it, so we're done. After eight days, uh, I feel like we got the good old Eagle Lake beat down. But we got some nice fish. It's still a good time, even though the muskies were dumb this week. Um, big shout out to Scott and Marie Colgrove. Colgrove's Eagle Lake Lodge, that's where we stayed. That's where you should stay. I'll leave the, a link for them in the description below. Check them out. And other than that, that's it. Sorry we couldn't get a fish for you today. Uh, a couple follows, a couple close ones, some pike. Had one hooked. Nate had one hooked. Shirt got in the way, got jammed. But uh, that's musky fishing, man. I mean, some days you go out and you, it's, it's Canada, and everybody's like, oh, it's Canada, you're going to catch a bunch. Not necessarily. This, this lake can kick your butt just like any other lake can. So. All right, thank you for watching. I'll throw some other videos up here you can take a look at. Please subscribe over here. I appreciate every one of you for watching. Thank you. We'll catch you on the next one.